you need a financial advisor with the freedom to focus on your specific needs. Whatever your goals, Reed Potter can create a game plan tailored to you. Call Reed at 432-0777 at Pikeville, Kentucky to learn more. While panhandling is not permitted in the city of Pikeville, many reported sightings of the viral bogus beggar from Louisville, which were confirmed by Pikeville City Police. Mountaintop sat down with Officer Tony Kahn to discuss what to do when encountering panhandlers. To handle them, just basically, just avoid it. It's, it's going to be a scam. It's going to be someone holding a sign or someone like this individual that was in the city a few days ago. And, you know, you don't know what you're going to do to be done with. They could be, they could be armed, they could be violent, they could be... Uh, uh, just want money, or they could be wanting something else. Uh, best way to do is just call call the police department, call us, call 911. While businesses can give permission to people and organizations who are raising donations, the city does not permit panhandling as it poses many issues. The best way to stay safe is to avoid panhandlers, keep car doors locked, and contact the police. We do extra patrols this time of year anyway in the uh, businesses, especially Pikeville Commons, uh, Cassidy Boulevard area where a lot of our businesses, downtown business. Uh, we, we patrol, we step patrols up because we got more people, shoppers, tourists. So we're going to be in the area hot and heavy anyway, and uh, uh, if we see anything out of the way, we're going to deal with it uh, specifically. Um, if you do have a complaint or, or a concern, you can call. It's 24-7 and uh, we'll answer any complaint you have or we'll come there and we'll see what's going on. So, As the holidays approach and many people are out shopping, it is important to stay aware of your surroundings and the people around you. For Mountaintop News, I'm Kelsey Dean.